run across his YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on. This video is about what happens once your trauma is gone and does it go? Mm -hmm. That's a question, isn't it? Mm. I don't believe trauma it, it, goes. I, th I don't think trauma ever goes, but it depends to the extent of the trauma itself. Yeah, I think. If, it, if it's major trauma of a major amount of time, i.e. like child abuse or um, some kind of thing, trigger warning coming up, rape, sexual and think abuse, like sexual, yeah. or, or, or even single sexual assault, yeah. that kind of thing can live with you for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's just how you, but you kind of live with I guess over time, I mean, I'll say it, I've been, I can personally say it from my point of view that I've personally been a victim of both that. Yeah. And I've, I've learned that, that now I'm 50, it's 52 in January, isn't it now? And I've learned over the years that you, you can't live in the past, you can only live for the future now. and. You have to just realise that you don't have that many more years on this planet. You have to make the most of everything that you have left. Yeah. And you can't dwell. I find myself that I can't dwell on what's happened in the past because you can't change that. No. Can't but you, change you can't change. You can only change what's on in the future. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the most important thing that you need to when when, when trauma happens to you, it doesn't you know it, it happens, and it, it, it you can either be strong or you can be weak, but trauma weakens people, yeah, and it can weaken people a lot, and it can weaken people a little bit or it can medium weak. It, people can say, well, look, you did this to me, and. You did this, this is how it made me feel mm. and confront the person in like say a court or something like that. Well me, I don't have my trauma for years and it's only over the last decade or so I would say that I've started to let it go to a degree. Mm, because you over the that, those ten years Helen, it was I, I think the first time you actually spoke to someone about it and you let go. Yeah, I mean, but I still have it, I still will have it. Mm -hmm. I want to confront one person and then get to confront the actual perpetrator as such themselves on their own, which I would have liked to have done. Um, I did kind of confront them about it to a degree with other people there. Um, but it would have been nice to confront them face to face and had it had some type of evidence to say them admitting what they did. You know what I mean? And then I could have still tried to pursue the legal route because they never got put in prison for it. They got arrested, de-arrested, arrested, de-arrested and all that. And that just adds to the trauma of what I, what I went through. But I, I know the truth, I know the evidence that speaks for itself at the end of the day. And they're now dead. So the way I see it now is they can't hurt no one. And they've only been dead for like three, two years. One's been dead for two years, one's been dead for, since 2017, I believe. So, you know, it's not overly a long period of time. No. So I, I started to let go of the trauma before they even died, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. And I don't feel no type of way that they're not here no more. I'm glad um, they can't hurt anyone. I'm glad. Like, that, I mean, that, that makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, I mean, I, as most people on the mental health channel know that I had CBD mm. therapy. And mm. I'm, I'm a therapist. He turned around and he said, well, well why bother? Yeah. It? Because he said, you just yeah. wasting energy. He, 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 he turned around and he said, like, really, you mustn't go back. You, know, you can't change what's happened. I mean, if they 
don't want to know and if that's what they did they're not here they're not here physically in this flat yeah. so they can't say <coughs> or control any aspect of your life anymore no. so that's how you've got to think about stuff like that is you've got to think to yourself well no hang on one minute if it starts getting in your head you got to think to yourself well no look i'm safe i am in my own place there's no one in my place yeah. so i am safe yeah. so that's how you feel you, you've got to have that feel of safe space yeah and i think we've got that here we have that here, but what, I'm, what, I'm, what, here. I, what I what I said to him was I found I found it difficult going on public transport, and he said, "Well, on public transport, there's more CCTV around than anywhere else." Mm. But things like that happen um, on CCTV because some people are more stupid on CCTV than they are off it. Mm. So, and he he said, "Well, yeah, that's true." But he said, technically, you're still in a safe space because whatever happens is seen on CCTV. But I said, it's just, you know, it would have been done. Yeah. Too late. Trauma there. Exactly. And then you've got true. to deal with that trauma. It's true. And then you go through all this mental health and physical health system. Yeah, and then you have a battle to get the right diagnosis and that. I mean, I only got diagnosed with... Um, the complex PTSD, complex PTSD and anxiety and anxiety not that long ago no. about a year or so ago for mm. complex PTSD and anxiety was literally about two three years ago maybe less mm. maybe maybe less. Less. I think it's about two years ago you know what I mean and anxiety has been about eight, six months yeah I'll say so and I am on medication for anxiety and we just try each day in it mm. to try and get me to go out. Basically we, we this is it, we, we thought our men like would clash when we first got together. It hasn't clashed. It did to begin with. Yeah, it did to begin with. That's because we we let it clash. Mm. We let it clash but we sat down, we we talked about it. And it doesn't clash anymore, it literally bonds itself together and we help each other out. There I am over on my side of the living room, getting myself stressed out, and Helen's saying, Oh, come on, calm down, calm down. And then you start up on the same day, and then you're getting stressed about something, I don't know where it is. And I'm saying, Well, look, look on the same day, about half an hour after I get stressed, I'm saying to you, Calm down. That's the same, that's what, that's what we do. We but that's, 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 that's all because of trauma. Yeah, it is. And I think, I think we've both gotten better over time to deal with mm. it and live with it and that. Mm. But I think trauma, personally, will always be there. No matter yeah. what kind of trauma it is. Yeah. It depends on the severity. Some trauma you can get over, depends on, on what it is. It's possible. I don't know. It it, it actually it it's not so much the trauma. It is it's down to the individual person who suffered the trauma. Yeah. You can't say that it's you know you can't look at somebody and say well look I know that you suffered trauma but you'll get over it in six months. Yeah. Because you, that's you the don't sort know of person you it. it could be sixty years. Yeah. It could have been It could be never. six years. It could be six months. Who knows? It all depends exactly. on the person themselves and how, uh, how literally quite willing they are to fight it. And yeah, and it is a battle. Thing, that's the thing, like me, when I had my trauma and that, and when I wasn't dealing with it properly, I used to think, well, why should I have to be the one to put in the work to get over the trauma when I never caused it? And do you get what I mean? Mm. And there's probably other people who think the same way. Well, well, I didn't cause this trauma, so why have I got to go to therapy? Why have I got to do this? Why have I got to do that? And they're just out there living their life. I thought no that, repercussions. I mean, yeah, I guess I felt that the same way, especially about my mother, but not my, not necessarily my dad. It was my dad that hit me hard, but my mum is the one I have the issues with. Yeah, because she wasn't there, like, she should have been. Well, she wasn't, she just let it all happen. 
But and that bitch just sat in a chair smoking, mm. not bothering to intervene and stop him from doing what he was doing. But that's emotional abuse. What I'm trying to say is that that kind of thing for that long period of time and then to have what happened to me happen and then for her to stand there so coldly and not say nothing mm. after she uh, just before Christmas on December the 10th kicked me out of, out of her house uh, out of her house mm. coldly out of blue just before Christmas because she's got no empathy or anything. No, she like hasn't that. because she just stood there. She doesn't there. care. No, she stood there and it's just nothing. She just wanted you to be there at her beck and call on that. Yeah, like we did in the video of trauma bonding. Check mm. that out, it's up now. Yeah, but not, you know, not anymore. No. Not anymore. So I would say you learn to live with trauma. I don't believe it can completely leave I don't, you. No, it, it won't completely it go. It depends on how you choose to let it. I guess that. Uh, there are, um, when you have trauma for long periods of time, like what we've we've done, had to carry, there's always going to be that spark, that's going to spark one trigger of what happened, wherever you go. So, for example, that if someone was to sit down next to me on the bus, that's a trigger. Mm. My anxiety will go through the roof straight away. Absolutely straight away. Same. And that triggers it. And something else will trigger something else somewhere else. Mm. So you're always going to get those, what I class as trauma triggers. Mm. Something somewhere will trigger your trauma. Yeah. And so so, de so therefore, yeah, right. hearing certain songs and certain dates mm. and that is trauma. Yeah. No, that's trauma that never goes away. Yeah. So technically trauma does not never go away. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter how weak, strong or medium you are. Yeah. So no, trauma doesn't go away, in no. my opinion. But in my opinion if, as well, it's it just, does, it just doesn't go away. It. It's it just how you, how you deal with it on a daily basis. Yeah. But guys, anyone who's young out there over the age of 18, who's just started to deal with trauma, please listen to adults of what they say. Mm. One adult of 45 mm. and one yeah. adult yeah. of 52, nearly. Nearly. Yeah, very nearly. <laughs> that trust us. Please trust us, it does get a lot easier as yeah, time yeah. goes on. So yeah. you have to stick with it. Don't do anything silly, no. but just stick with it because it does get easier. It, does. it really does. It does. So it let, never us know, goes let us know how you, how you do your trauma and how it affects you and that. Let us know in the comments and that. And in the meantime, I'm going to say, take care. Bye for now. That's a really good video. Did you cut off?